Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadongs the Bomb, but built for Theme Park News and welcome to this Theme Park News room update where today we're going to be checking out Parc du Bocasse. Now this is a smaller French park, it's one of the older French parks, it's located in Normandy and we're going to be taking a look uh, well, obviously I can't show you any images because there isn't none. However, I have seen an image from somewhere, um, but it's it's very low in quality and I, I want to give you guys the best quality. So, uh, no images in this video. However, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to tell you about some stuff that I found out recently that could lead to a coma coaster. Not confirmed, but it could be a coaster. Now, before we get started, guys, I'm going to tell you at the end of the video a little bit about the Six Flags announcements, because I've got a feeling it may not be today. But, you know, I'll stay tuned just in case. Uh, but before, <laughs> before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Keep coming with your video suggestions and your shout-outs in the comments down below. I love reading every single comment. I love replying to every single comment. You know. And for now, guys, let's get into talking about Parc du Bocasse and let's talk about the history of this park before we go into detail about what I've recently found out. So Parc du Bocasse or Bocasse Park opened back in 1967. Now, this is located uh, in Rock Cod in Saint-Saint-Saint-Maritime, uh, not sure how I pronounce French, uh, in the Normandy region. So it's 28 kilometers north of Rouen. Uh, so the park has two mascots named Buzzy and Apicouet, and they're both bees. And um, if you want a little bit more about this park, it's the fifth oldest theme park in France. Interesting fact there. Still in operation, of course. That's very important. It's the fifth oldest park still in operation in France. It's the oldest in Normandy, covering 6.4 hectares, as well as a 5.2 hectare of a 700 space car park. In 2015, it reached 230,000 visitors, and the record was broken the following year with 250,000 viewers, or guests, shall we say. Uh, now, of course, as space started to run out, back in May 2015, the park acquired several plots near the car park, increasing the surface area by 4 hectares. And, of course, they introduced many different expanded attractions uh, during... Uh, the period between 2015 and 2019. Now the park already has four roller coasters. We have Fort Diodine, uh, which used to be known from 2004 to 2018 as Train de Mine, and then from 2019 onwards, Fort Diodine. Now this is a thrill coaster manufactured by Socket with no inversions, so it is technically still a family uh, coaster, a family thrill coaster. They've also got Gonzalez, which is a junior coaster with a 30 times 14 footprint, manufactured by LT Systems. Uh, the dimensions of this is 98.4 feet times 44.6 feet, and it also has magnetic brakes, which is very nice for a kiddie coaster indeed. We also have Jurassic Twister, uh, which is your 420 STD Zamperla Twister Coaster model. Uh, so this is the same model as Pinball X at Dreamland Margate, which is a very interesting thing. There are other versions of this coaster as well. Galaxy Spin at Legoland, Florida. Of course, that was relocated over to uh, Fun Spot America from Legoland, Florida. Uh, it's at Mount Olympus Water and Theme Park as Opa. Opa! And, uh, of course, it is the rumoured, and rumoured to still be coming and not cancelled, Sidewinder Safari at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. So, if you're looking at Sidewinder Safari, it's that model that's, you know, at this at this park in France, the Jurassic Twister. Now, they also have a Preston and Barberry Mine Wagon Coaster, a kid's coaster called Pirate's Coaster. Very nice. Uh, that opened back on the 7th of July, 2019. So, you know, taking a year off before the possibly next coaster, which is very unusual nowadays. Uh, now, of course, basically for those of you who need a little bit more about what's going on at this park, what, why am I doing a video on this park? Well, it's because I have found out uh, through a low quality picture, which I don't want to show you because I want you guys to have the best quality on the channel uh, Footers have shown up at the park uh, and this was back uh, yesterday Now they're not entirely sure exactly what it could be. However, when I saw the photos, I think it definitely looked like the coma footers um, So of course and today for those of you who need a little bit more of a reminder I did see an image on a forum um, which sound, well, from the looks of it, uh, with a dinosaur 
behind the silver construction fence that was temporarily put up around the site, it's very likely that this could be, well, this is very much going to be in the Jurassic area of the park, uh, which is their, their prehistoric dinosaur section of the theme park. So, this is, whatever this is, it's going to have a dinosaur theme, basically. So... That is looking at the latest as well as talking about the park's history because of course those of you who have never been to this park will not know about this park. However, like I said, I haven't got any images to show in this video because one of them is low quality and the other one belongs to someone else. However, from what I can tell you from looking at the images, yesterday Futs appeared on site, what looks to be a Vacoma roller coaster and uh, of course it looks to be in the Jurassic area with the di dinosaur not animatronic, but figurine that was behind the construction fence, the silver fence of construction. So, talking about that then, the possibility of Vacoma footers. Now, it's not confirmed to be Vacoma, however, from the looks of it, it looks very Vacoma-esque. Uh, now, you can check out the Coaster Force forum, and there is a brand new thread for this coaster if you search Park du Bacasse uh, on the Coaster Force forum. Uh, but you can check all the images out on there that's been uploaded so far and uh, yes basically this is a very interesting one now obviously if we're thinking about Vacoma if it is a Vacoma footer then I think we're looking at three possibilities here now I'm going to talk through all three of my and sort of give you a percentage so all three will be split out of a hundred really so let's talk first of all about the the low percentages what I think are the low options so, let's go first then about um, what I think is the low option. So, let's start off with uh, the 30%. So, in my opinion, 30% likely to happen is a suspended thrill coaster or a family boomerang. Now, the reason why I say those ones is because the thrill coaster, the suspended thrill coaster, if you include an inversion or two in there, I think... That's not really in the the target market of the park. I did a, I did a little bit of research on the park. I watched their YouTube channel. They do have a YouTube channel, of course. Uh, you can look for it for yourself on YouTube and search it into the type box as Park Dubacasse. And um, you know, I think that it's not the it's more thrilling. It's more thrilling and more extreme than their what is considered their target market, which is family thrills. So I think that the spend a thrill coaster would not work now the family boomerang i think would be the blandest option now i say the blandest option but it's still a very good option because you know you've got all these family boomerangs either custom layouts copy layouts or rebound layouts uh saving at far up summerland and you know you know that's one of the more recent ones of course uh, there are other ones out there as well. Uh, there's one at Wildlands, uh, which is a zoo slash theme park in Netherlands. Um, you know, you've got the um, Energylandia one. You've got Rake at Fantasialand, uh, which is inter interacting with the, the Taran coaster in the Club Klugheim area. Um, so looking at the Family Boomerang, yes, it'd be a good option. There's obviously the new gen track, which makes it a decent coaster. And obviously the theming that could go into this, especially with this looking to be in the Jurassic area of the park, could be very interesting. However, I, I, I personally hope that's not the option they go for. Now, the one with a 40% chance of happening compared to the 30%, is the one I think is just, just more likely to happen in my opinion, or what I personally hope to happen, is the suspended family coaster. Now, we've seen... Flight the Pterosaur at Poulton's Park. Uh, that is a suspended family roller coaster. Suspended family coaster, SFC. And um, now, the reason why I say this option is because you look at Flight the Pterosaur at Poulton's Park, uh, you look at Fun Spot America's one, you look at um, the Wildwood Grove area at Dollywood, and you look at the Dragon Flyer in that section of the park at Dollywood. And you look at the, the types of coasters, Orkanen, uh, Fire Up Summerland, again, Fire Up Summerland, example, uh, like the Family Boomerang. So, you know, I think that the family, Suspender Family Coaster would be a better option for the park because I think it gives them a much wider network because even though the Family Boomerang is great, I think that, you know, any park could have a Family Boomerang. So I think that that wouldn't be the, 
the more unexpected option. I think the suspended Thunder Coaster would be an, an unexpected option. S to be fair, so would the suspended Thrill Coaster. I think that would be an unexpected option, to be honest. I mean, it's not completely out the realms of possibility. I mean, you look at Le Requi de Tuacures, you look at them, they're usually a family park. They're putting in this Euro, they're putting this Eurofighter, this custom Eurofighter known as Vitika uh, for 2020. So, and that's got inversions, which is very rare for them before this coaster came in. So, you know, obviously there is that realm of possibility of competition. You know, the part wants to put something with inversions in to compete with the likes of the Requi de Tuacures uh, that put in an inversion based coaster uh, this year. So maybe Park du Bacasse want to compete with that uh, next year. And this could be the, this could be the Vatika project to watch for this whole year, uh, for the rest of this year, sorry. So I think that, yeah, there's a, there's still, we're not going to eliminate the Thrill Coaster, the Suspender Thrill Coaster completely right now. But I think any other type of Vekoma, Bermuda Blitz, Shockwave, uh, one of the compact coasters or a brand new concept, I think any of those options would be very outside options and probably never going to happen. But if they do happen, again, just like the Suspender Thrill Coaster, I'd be very surprised. I think the, the most unsurprising additions would be between the Family Boomerang and the Suspender Family Coaster. And I would go along the Suspender Family rather than Family Boomerang because I think it's more rare. For that part to do with that rather than the family boomerang so i think that you know i think the suspended family coaster would be a more wider network reaching potential option but if they go with the thrill coaster the suspender thrill or they go with any other vacoma thrill concept i will be amazed so there we go guys that is talking about park dubacasse now a little bit of a reminder, I don't know if the 6th Files announcement is coming out today. <laughs> I said it in the last video about Move Apart Germany. By the way, good views on that one so far. Brilliant. And um, yeah, I don't know if it's going to come out today. I think it could be September 3rd because it's the sort of weekend before Labor Day. So I think, and that's usually around the time where 6 Flags announces it. So I think we're looking at September 3rd maybe if it doesn't come tonight. Uh, but of course, if it does come tonight... You guys will know about it first because I'll upload all the videos and the plan is, um, if it is coming out tonight or this evening, I'll upload the announcement video, upload it for you guys and uh, we're going to be analysing it all tomorrow. So uh, that's the plan if it comes out today. If not, it'll be a September 3rd video, September 4th analysis unless they come out in a reasonable time where it's still light outside. So thank you very much guys for watching this theme park news update from Park Du Bacassi. Potentially the last video today depending if the Six Files announcements are made today or September 3rd. But in that case, stay tuned anyway because uh, I might put a poll on there, you know, just to, uh, just to you know, get you guys involved again. You, you guys love these polls. There's a lot of people voting on those polls in the previous weeks. So uh, I might put some more polls on there just to tickle your fancy. Now before we get to the end of this video, I want to thank you guys so much for watching once again. Make sure you like the video, make sure you give it a comment if you love the, if you love the opinions, if you've got your own opinions, comment down below, video suggestions, shout outs, all in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Anyway guys, I'm Eric Chandler from Coaster Child, Donkster Born, but built for theme park news. Keep living the coaster life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon, hopefully. Fingers crossed, toes crossed, you can't see my toes crossed, but they are crossed. Thank you very much guys, have an awesome day.